All right, so a while back I was showing you all how to use your tablet as a second monitor for a Windows PC, like you see I have here. So this is the Service Pro 7 Tab S7. But um, that was kind of an unofficial way. And since Samsung has been pretty good at adding features and things of that sort uh, to these tablets, I wanna show you today how to do this officially. So. The prerequisites for this is that you're going to need the latest update for your Windows device, so make sure you have those Windows updates installed. The other thing you're going to need is One UI 3.1, and this is good for either the Tab S7 or the Tab S7 Plus. So what you're going to do here is first, you're going to go onto the tablet and you're going to pull your notification bar down. And if you are using One UI 3.1 for the first time, it'll actually show you where that button is, but I've moved mine around. So right here is where my second screen uh, toggle is. So I'm gonna turn this on, but for some reason, and I'm not sure why, um, it's making me restart and install an update. Um, this wasn't the case when I was using my wife's tablet. Uh, she has a Tab S7, I have the Tab S7 Plus, but I just wanted to kind of show you how this is here. And actually, let's go ahead and do that. So you'll probably have to restart and install. So here is what the update screen looks like for that. This is actually a little bit different than I'm used to. I'm used to seeing that Android screen. Um, I believe that's in a blue hue, but this is interesting. I guess this is probably just for a feature update. But anyway, just wanted to show you what that's going to look like. Right, so here we have the tablet going ahead and resetting. All right, so now that that update has gone ahead and gone through, what we're going to do is do the same thing I said before. So we're going to go and swipe down on the notification bar, and we're going to go here to second screen. Once you tap, it's going to bring you to this screen right here, and here it'll give you an explanation of what this does, how it works and things of that sort. And what you're going to want to choose is what's best for you down here. So within this connection mode settings here, you have either drawing, drawing slash gaming for faster response or video for smoother playback. In this case, um, I'm just gonna leave it in what it is right now, drawing slash gaming. And from here, you can leave the tablet on this screen. What you're going to do on the Windows computer is you're going to press the Windows key and K. Of course, you can do this another way, but this just kind of seems like the fastest way possible. And as you can see here, it's actually seeing a few of my devices, but the one we want is this one, my uh, Tab S7. And you're going to press that. It'll let you know it's a display. And then it doesn't work. Hold on, that was interesting. And there we go. So now your Tab S7 is officially a second monitor and this is through the method that Samsung provides for you using uh, One UI 3.1. One of the other use cases I've actually found for this, and this is something I don't think has been mentioned, is that you can actually project wireless decks onto your tablet now using this second screen functionality. So the way you get that done is you're going to go onto your phone and you're going to find the DeX icon. Now it is important to say this, this is only going to be for phones that actually support wireless DeX. So keep that in mind. I said it. Then we're going to go to Dex here, in this case I'm using the Galaxy S21. Then, as you can see, it actually connected to my tablet before, but I'm gonna show you how to do this. You're gonna go, actually go back. So you have two choices here. You're gonna obviously go to Dex on TV or monitor. And then, let's cancel that again. You're gonna press the name of your tablet, which is why it's important to have the second screen functionality already showing here on the screen. So let's tap and 
Keep in mind, this may actually fail a few times, but continue to try it because it did actually work for me after a while. All right, yeah, see, it failed again. Now it looks like I'm fibbing and I'm not fibbing for sure. Let's try it again. Okay, and there we go, see? Voila, wireless decks. So what this is is just my phone on my tablet now, on the display and everything. Um, I don't know that sound comes through here, but let's try that. Let's watch Coyote Plays with Cat. Oh, that's pretty cool. Is the sound coming through there? Oh yeah, look at that. So yeah, it actually projects the sound and everything else. And you can go ahead and uh, do things. I go to my files and be aware, this is all the stuff that's on your phone. So this is pretty cool. If you don't use Dex, now is a good time to start using it. And this may be a little bit redundant because yes, you do have Dex on the tablet. However, here's the thing. Dex does not seem to back up when you get a new phone. So right now I have to go into my Galaxy S21 and do everything I did on my Note 20. But it's better than setting Dex up on the tablet and having to move the files over from one device to another. Um, I can just set it up now on one device and then basically use it on this device. But yeah, this is just an extra extra way to use uh, the second screen functionality. Now, a few things to be aware of. You can actually allow mouse and keyboard touch and uh, pen input from this device here. So that's pretty cool. You can also go up here and change the projection mode to either extended, duplicate, or second screen only, or disconnect, whatever you want. Let's go back and press Windows K again. So I'm gonna go ahead and allow mouse, keyboard, touch, and pen input from this device. The other thing to be aware of is that the tablets will only support 1920 by 1080 resolution. So um, if you're wondering if you can use the full resolution on your tablet and sort of get you know, a high resolution display, you can't. At least not now. Maybe there will be some kind of workaround. I guess that kind of just really matters when you care about these black borders right here, like I do. Other than that, you know, this is this is just the official way through Samsung. This is, you know, it's it's pretty it's pretty neat that they're offering something like this. This doesn't really require any more downloads. Um, you know, there's no second driver you have to download or anything along those lines. All you have to do is make sure you're doing your updates on your Windows device, which you probably are anyway. And you're probably going to be doing the updates on the tablet. And there you go. Now, one of the use cases you could probably find for this is that you'll be able to use this to present to someone. So in the coronavirus era, uh, which we are still in right now, let's say, for instance, if you're in a room, if you want to present something to someone, now you can actually, let's say, leave your tablet at the end of that very long table and then have your PC here. And whatever you do on your PC is obviously going to show up on here. You could duplicate the displays, extend the displays, whatever have you. And it's also just good for giving you more space while using your Windows PC. So again, this is just, it's a really cool thing. Um, I haven't tested out the S Pen, but let's try that. I'm not really gonna do anything too crazy. Okay, all right, look at that. And it's decently responsive. It's not, I do notice slight lag, but you know, for what is offered here, for you paying what you're gonna pay for this tablet, you can't really go wrong and you can't really ask for much, you know? You know, this is something that's offered by free from a manufacturer. So anyway, just wanted to show you all this really quick, the official way. So for anybody who has a Tab S7, Tab S7 Plus, 
I'm pretty sure this will even come to the older tablets if One UI 3.1 goes onto that tablet. So maybe the Tab S6. Um, now you can use that as a second display. So as always, wherever you are in the world, have a good day. Have a good night. Hopefully this video was helpful. And thank you for watching.